Uh, right, so Home Sweet Home Alone is the reboot sort of of the original Home Alone films that that had Macaulay Culkin in. Now I was a big fan of the original two, the Home Alone and Home Alone Lost in uh, Two Lost in New York, Macaulay Culkin ones, and then it went a bit weird with three and four. And then now they brought a reboot, uh, and when I heard that they were doing a reboot, I was thinking, well, why is it coming on cinema and not going? I'm going straight to Disney Plus, as I say, that's where it's available if you want to watch. Uh, I saw the trailer. The trailer was awful. I didn't like it, I thought it looked a boring film. It looked like a carbon copy of the first original. And I thought I'll sit down and watch it, give it a chance to see what it's like. And I can safely say that it's just like the uh, trailer. It was boring, bland, it wasn't funny at all. Uh, the story was poor. There was no chemistry between the characters. I think the only positive thing is was uh, Alfie Yates, uh, who played Max in the film. Uh, it's not Kevin now, it's Max. Uh, <clears throat> and it's more or less a carbon copy of the original. Uh, but I'm always glad that when they do reboots, you've got the original to go back to and enjoy it if the reboot sucks. And this film is awful. This is up there with one of the worst films of 2021. Um, it's that bad it might be my number one. For the last 11 months, my number one were worst film of the year was that from the force. But I think this has even beaten that. Uh... I mean, Rob Delaney's fine in it. The girl, Carol, Ashley B, I think her name is. She wasn't funny. Uh, I don't know. I haven't seen her in anything else. I know she's done other projects. I'm going to have to go back and check them. But she was awful in this. Uh, wasn't funny, just bland. And some of the jokes in it was forced. Uh... Some of the characters were shoehorned in, into this as well. You've got the original Buzz, but he's not called Buzz in this. Uh, Devin Retre. Buzz was the older brother of Kevin McAllister in the original two Home Alones. And yeah, uh, I kind of understand why this wasn't put on the cinema. It just went straight to Disney Plus. I think Disney, someone at Disney must have saw it and thought, bugger that, don't put it on the cinema, put it straight on to Disney Plus because this would have flopped in the box office at the cinema. Uh, but somebody out there might like it, but it didn't work for me. Uh, it was awful. Uh, you know, like I said, I can only think of one positive thing, and that was the young lad that played Max, uh, Archie Yates. He did a good job for that, but the rest of it was awful. Uh, it was boring. As I say, not funny. There is a carbon copy of the original, but with a few bits taken out. Uh, I don't know. <sighs> But hey, as I say, somebody might like it. Go and check it out. It's on Disney Plus. If you have checked it out and watched it, let us know your thoughts. Leave a comment in the comment section below. Uh, <coughs> let me know your thoughts. Did you like it? Did you enjoy it? If not, why? Or if you did, let me know in the comment section below. Am I missing something? In it maybe i'll go back and watch it if i'm really bored uh and like i said i'm so glad it didn't come out of the cinema because i would not pay to go and see this 
I would not pay for a pay for a cinema ticket to come watch this. This is as I say, this is probably one of the worst films of twenty twenty one. Uh, and the scary thought is someone's planning on doing a reboot of Flight of the Navigator and that's one of my favourite films growing up as a kid and if it's anything like this please leave that one alone don't just leave it leave it alone you know but hey so if you like this video please hit that like button subscribe and I'll see you on the next video take care of yourselves and peace to everybody